There's dirt on my hands. They call it loon shit. It's just Smoke that frickin' like greasy top layer on those There's northern roads. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. But I froze my bag off. Like, I had every piece of clothes on inside my First attempt at a video. Gonna be going on a sheep hunt ten days in. We're doing a training hike today. Heading up to Kootenay Lake. And uh, we got full weight in the pack. Didn't want to have a rifle around people, so right now, just seeing how the pack feels. Feeling pretty good. Never made a video, but I know this trip is going to be pretty cool. And I know folks like to watch these videos like me. I watch them all, so try not to be too boring. What you got to say, buddy? Oh, week out before the sheep hunt. We're gonna do as many hours today in <laughs> as we think we can. Got the old training aids on. Uh, yeah, I think we're feeling pretty good. I'm not uh, terribly out of shape, I guess I could say. Uh, yeah, getting ready, I'm more excited for next week. Okay, quick gear check. Yeah, we, uh, we decided last night to load the packs up, basically with full kit. So I'm going to run my Kuyu pack again, so lots of you guys are curious. I'm running the newer suspension, but still the older Icon Pro 7200 bag. We got sleeping bag, sleeping pad, water filters, tent, like we're full kit. Uh, water bladder's full, one Nalgene full. Um, food, we need to mimic it because I just didn't want to pack freeze dried and crap right now. I don't have my full kit. We're a week out of our sheep hunt. so. I wanted to put about 18 pounds worth of weight in food wise, but I didn't want to do it as like a, put a rock in or, or put a weight. So I took salt, put three big Ziploc freezer bags full and then put it in like a dry sack just so it held it as like how my food's probably going to lay. And then that equaled about 18 pounds. So I got that right in the middle. So we're mimicking that. And then where we're hiking today, uh, it's in a provincial park that doesn't allow firearms this time of year. So we wanted to mimic how our packs were gonna be balanced with gun weight. So being a welder, I had a bunch of steel pipe at home. Uh, this one weighs seven and a half pounds and Matt's got one that's about 7.4 pounds. So we're really close to actually our gun weight. My gun, my new Fierce is gonna, it weighs in at 7.8. So we're basically right there. And it might seem a little like overdoing it, but I, it's good because we're a week out from doing this for real and now we're feeling exactly how the packs are going to be so far so good we'll see if we go four hours in today and four hours out but we're going to try to do basically a full day of wait because that's what next sunday is going to feel like so yeah that's pretty much it Okay, gear check-in. Devin's got his QU. 7200 Pro, I think he said. I got the Stone Glacier, 7900 X-Curve. Devin's got his fancy Schwaros 15 by 56 SLC. Yeah, because he's extremely wealthy. <laughs> I have the real spotter. Sorry, Kurt. It's a Kawa 883. It's so good you can look into the future. <laughs> when am I going to have her binos? Oh, yeah, I got some Mavens because I'm poor. Maven 15 by 56s. So it's going to be a race to find the sheep. Already starting a leg down. <laughs> yeah, should have spent two more grand find sheep faster. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I 
Devin lost a bunch of stuff the other day camping, so he's got one of these things. Too many beers at the beach. Yeah, forgetting it somewhere and having it picked up by another person is what happened. It was a gift, goodwill to the sheep gods. And if you're watching this and it was you, go fuck yourself. Wrapping up the death march. Almost at the bottom. Surviving it. A couple ankle rolls. Nothing too crazy. But we'll see what the final tally is. Yeah, feeling the shoulders a little bit too. See what we weigh in at. We think we're 65, 70 pounds. So we'll just see final distance, final weight. And then next time we check in, it'll be probably on the highway north. Back at the truck. Unofficial, this is an 18 kilometer hike. Devin blew through his water bladder. So we'll just see what uh, the total weight is. Apparently that's broken, but it'll still work. Okay, what's the tally? So 66 plus six Two. and a half yeah, pounds of water. 70 pounds, eh? 70, 72. Nice. Next. Yep, yeah, sounds about right. So I just hit nicer gear, that's all. <laughs> There's the final tally from the hike. Just shy of 70 pounds. Kokanee Lake up to Trudeau Cabin. 18 kilometers. 672 meters. About 2,200 feet. And about four and a half hours moving time. So it was a good push. Not too bad. But it's packing up time. We roll out on Friday. Trying to get organized. See you guys again soon. Finally on the road. Anxious week of sheep prep. It's finally, uh, I don't know, it's always, I'm still anxious right now because we're only two and a half hours into our 22 hour journey. That's <laughs> what happens when you live in the southeastern corner of the province. But uh, yeah, it's uh, exciting times. The kids are back, the back, the back of the truck's full. I think Matt's excited to experience his first hunt in the northern mountains and head up the uh, Alaska Highway and then do a little left off the highway sheep hunt so yeah, let's uh, hope uh, the weather holds like the forecast is and the truck makes it all the way there and back. <laughs> Vibrate the whole way? Yeah. Yeah we're uh, I don't know we're gonna drive until we're tired tonight got a spot on the map picked out, sleep in the truck, and then get up and keep going in the morning. I'll give you guys an update then. So I'm just checking out the wildlife yeah, here, stopping traffic. This one might eat it. <laughs> Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. That guy's It's really dark right now. Hey guys, hey! <laughs> when driving forever to go sheep hunting, you listen to Paul Medell and get ready for elk season. The reason we do these things is because here is how it affects the elk. Here's what's going Thanks, on Paul. in their mind. Well, day one of driving was eventful. We uh, took a wrong turn and then realized we were going the wrong way about 45 minutes later 
turned around, drove until about 12.30, and it's about 5.30, and it's time to wake up and keep rolling. We got about God, 15 hours to go or so. So, found the side of a road, it was cold, got down to almost freezing at about 2,000 meters, saw some snow up in the mountains, so we've gone from 33 degrees during the day, 18 degrees at night, at Celsius, to it was basically freezing. So, we're heading north and it's getting cold. All right, time to wakey wakey. Only four hours of sleep. Get, get up and do it all over again. Put in a 13 hour shift of driving. Park on the side of the road, take a bit of a detour. Illegally park on the side of the road. Yeah, no. Like it says no tenting. Yeah. Tents. Trucks, that looks like a tent to uh, us, so we thought this is a perfect flat spot. Do you need to be more specific? Yeah. So yeah, here we go. What do you figure? Another 15 hours, is it? Is that what we've got going on? I hope 13. Yeah, me too. But, what's the plan then? Drive, get gas, and then drive some more. More coffee. Oh, fuck, I need coffee. Yeah. Here we go. So we're heading for a national park, back on the road again. We've got our coffees, and we drove through what supposedly is one of the most amazing parks there is in Canada in the dark and now it's light and we got a low cloud cover and we can't see anything. So I've been told that this is what the highway looks like heading north and this is all I'm going to get through this park. Good times. But it, it shit works. I was going to say shit works. First time I've ever seen one of these things. The knees do not feel right. I'm going north when I see caribou signs. Every time I wonder if I should do two trips. The way they're mad at Rob was like, right on, that's what you do. See, you tons of talk. Made sense to me. Passing a cool line. The mechanic told me duct tape was just fine. Northern BC. But it was like like three months. Yes, we're in Alberta. We're in Alberta. We still had it under us. There you go, Alberta. Just a raven and pillaging. Oh, is that what? clip outside of Fort St. John with Kurt because he's so jealous he wanted to talk to us and wish us good luck because he loves us so much. <laughs> uh, we're probably another four hours of driving still and it's, I don't know, 2.30 in the afternoon so hopefully we can get to our parking spot and no one's there and we can have a nice, you know, prepped up night and get some food in us and start our hike tomorrow, get a good sleep tonight. That's what I'm looking forward to. I think we're running on like, I bet you three hours, if I had to guess. But yeah, it's been good weather, no smoke. The rest of BC's in trouble right now. And we're getting lucky up here, so hopefully that keeps going. We've got blue skies. Hopefully that means tomorrow we're gonna be able to glass. So yeah, keep on driving.
Great morning. Day one. Slept at the truck last night and got some food in us and we feel pretty good. Got all the gear put together. Our kits are figured out. I don't know, we're in the low 70s, so yeah. it's feeling pretty good. A little bit of rain last night, a little bit of a drizzle. Not yeah. Much. But uh, yeah, we're on the trail. You know, we're going to cut up and head somewhere in those mountains there. So we'll probably two hours and tell you how bad we feel. The mindless people out in the woods. <laughs> Garf goes sheep hunting. Pretty nice walking so far though. We've got the first fat map session, trying to figure out where we are. We've got a good trail right now. We don't really want to lose it, but we also don't want to move up too high and have a cliff to get back down to where we want to go. Devin's happy. He says, there we go. Well, that was a push. Coming out of the valley, got kind of clipped out, waterfall, but we managed to bump up a ridge and get around it, but uh, it's just a bit of a, bit of a steep one. Dev's hammering through, but I don't know if you can see it. How's it feeling, buddy? Up the hill, down the hill, across the river, back across the river. If it's easy, everyone will be doing it. Pretty unbelievable. We're getting close. First time in the Sheep Mountains of Northern BC. Do you want to turn back? It's just getting good. I know. <laughs> this is why he doesn't want to turn back. <laughs> Hopefully we can get through there. Okay, said we'd update you. Give you a little taste of what we were climbing. And uh, I don't know, I think we're a couple hours in. Two and a half, two. That's it. Yeah, fuck, that's pretty good. Yeah, we made a pretty good climb in. We're up, there's a waterfall below us, and yeah, I think we're gonna get a 
pretty good navigation route around the cliffs and first stop of the day just take the gators off we cross the creek up to our calves probably four times and up to our ankles i don't know another four times so nothing soaked but just make sure we're taking drying stuff out when we can feeling good so far goal is to get up and around that big knob and up the valley and then get into some of more of that green alpine up that way and yeah find a sheep just picking through the timber oh dev may have found a trail i'm gonna participate in that but all the way up the valley is where we're heading I might think this looks easy. But it ain't. There's a push. A little tiring. Side hilling. Loose. Covering ground though. Well, it's always nice when you can get out of the rock and cut a game trail or whatever this is, we'll take it. We'll be stopping soon. Hot feet, shed of air. Get another view coming up over this rise here. Maybe do some glassing. Oh, fucking bush. Maybe do some glassing. We managed to cut a nice trail through right here. Packs are coming off. Cooled everything down, shed a layer. And we'll just keep heading back, but we're gonna glass first. Bit of an update. We're through this absolute trash. It's been a grind, but things are looking up. Devin's making the final push. Back on a trail. Don't know if it's caribou. Not too sure what it was. But I'm hoping once we get over this, we'll have a good view. I'll let you know what we're looking at. We're gonna have another break. Cool the feet again and uh, get the glass out and have a little boo. We are, I don't know, three o'clock, 
ish. That's what we said. 330. Left the truck at 7. Did what we hope is the worst of our entry. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to pick along this ridge. I'm kind of hoping there's water somewhere in that draw. If there's not, we know there's water in the bottom creek. And we still might try to find a camp spot up high because we're going to hunt this draw to the right tonight. Well, I'll glass it tonight, but hunt it probably tomorrow. See how it goes. And then our real plan is to this basically dead ends or we're going to get up and over that knob. <coughs> so not being too low with the camp would be nice. We've already gained this elevation. It would be nice not to lose it. So. It's been a good day. We've rested the feet three times, stripped the boots off, and they're feeling pretty good. I'm impressed with the liners so far. I've wore sock liners this time, and Matt's suggestion. The hot spots have been, I think the only reason my one foot is tired is because of the side hilling. So it's been good. We're excited to find some water to drink and get some food in the belly. Here's open. So, bad news, low on water. Good news, we found water. Bad news, it's the bottom of a gorge. And we just climbed up this, and now we gotta climb back down to see if we can cross, collect some water, and then maybe head back up. <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> we found water. <laughs> we uh, ran into that. But I heard that waterfall, and then we thought we'd come around, and it was all dry at the bottom. But Matt had a good idea to see if there was a pool somewhere, and there is. We're thirsty, dehydrated, pissing okay. yellow. Yeah. So this is excellent. The whole sheep hunt experience. All right. Peter. All right, here's what uh, I've shown it before, but this is why we like it so much, is we can be drinking. And we've already filtered in like five to 10 minutes, we've filtered like six liters of water almost already. You can see it just runs great. I mean, the water we're using is super clear, but we just let gravity do the work. I mean, it's almost like they named it that. Compare that to the Katadin B3, and that's me squeezing water out. Yeah. Those are like those squeeze, suck filters. I mean, they, they're a lot of work, whereas where we get to enjoy drinking, hydrating electrolytes. And then here's a little curtain I had this last time. When you, you just have a shitty plastic bottle on your road trip up, and you throw it in the pack and it's your dirty bottle. It's clean water and then you just put it in there. So that's the way to do it. Okay, quick update. We've made it to the top. Devin's over there, camp's gonna be there. Very uh, finely sheepy. You're looking forward to this. Absolute grind though. But you gotta love the view, show you the view. And then the next time we check in, camp will be set up and probably end up having a snack. A little, uh, what do we got? Peak refuel, thousand calories, double serving, some kind of pasta type thing. And I have some protein powder that I'm gonna need badly. That uh, lack of water there for a little bit was tough, but uh, always worth it, right? It's amazing what the body can do if you just follow the mind. But here we are. Absolutely incredible. So 
So tomorrow is going to be chill day, relax, glass everywhere, see how the bodies feel. Probably not going to feel very good. And then, uh, yeah, refuel again. And then we might bump down the valley. Go for a little, little walkabout. Home sweet home. Got the old Mountain Hardware Aspect 3 season. And we've completely, well, I added a bunch of guy lines. And we have them all cinched down. Looks like it's going to be a nice night. But I don't know if this tent is totally cut out for really bad weather. Probably, they, not. probably not. We're only ruling hikes back to the truck if it fails. Just a short hop. <laughs> Fuck, we finally made it. It was up push the last, like, <laughs> what, kilometer and a half, maybe? Seven eighths of it. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom wasn't bad, but yeah, that, uh, that was like a rolling summit. And you just kept walking and walking. <laughs> then, yeah, we found whatever that is, alder. That was about six feet high. Yeah, we found everything today. Yeah. Crossing Creek, Side Hill and Shale, getting clipped out. <laughs> it's a good day. Broke a no. phone? Broke a phone, yeah. Day one. Day one. Sheep hunting. See you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> what a, what a, what a, holy. We thought he was a bear. I've seen a few porcupines, but the thing's a fucking toad. <laughs> <laughs> He's a booner. Huh, that's cool. Just got into the tent. Hopefully she doesn't go too hard tonight. morning it's day two last night little rainstorm i think i showed you guys and didn't amount to much so we got lucky there today the skies look like they're gonna be nice so far unless something rolls in but pretty much blue sky everywhere a little update after our long hike yesterday feet feel good Shoulders are a bit sore, but all in all, I actually feel a lot better than expected. So it's time to do some glassing and you know see if there's anywhere we should go. There's a lot of a lot of country to cover here. We're gonna probably get up on a knob in behind us and put the glass to work and rest the body a bit today. But you know, really analyze where we're at now and and then see if we need to move on the next day. So. Keep you updated. Good start to day two. Another one pops out. What's that? 
Just another room popped out. Yeah. Looks like a big nanny. Or Wrong you. Nanny. Wrong <laughs> one. Nah. Yeah. Whatever, I'm not a biologist. I'm a fucking I read a book once though. So. Yeah. Well use and lambs day one. Ciao. Okay, well we found the use and then this is pretty exciting. We saw our first rams. Technically first morning up here. Second day of the hunt. There's two of them. Two guys right there. Front one's definitely worth a closer look, we think. Yeah, they're both decent. We're gonna have to just watch. They're obviously going to bed in those rocks or something, so. Yeah, man, they both have good bodies. Yeah, that back one's super wide. Hey. Fuck, he might break the nose. He might be bigger. Yeah, that back one's fucking nice. They both walk like older rams. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but they just do. They just got that... I mean, they're not... Five year... Fuck, that one's wide. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all on camera, so. That top one doesn't look like he's, I don't think so. They might be broomed too. He's pretty heavy at the tips. I think he might be broomed, so he, he might be older. They're definitely worth a closer look. <laughs> Where are they in relation to the mountain right now? I can't tell, so I'm so zoomed. just about to pop into the sun on that saddle. So they're just in that little darkness? Yeah. yeah okay. Like down. Yeah. So never mind. You can see with your naked eye. Middle of the saddle, go down 300 yards. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're right, eating on some rocks right now. What made you look over there? I don't know, man. I actually look back. I'm like, are those? Then I kept looking. I was like, fuck, I should look back here again. Fuck. Hey. That's so sick. <laughs> that bottom one might be fucking full curl. Yeah, yeah, he's wide. Fuck, he looks nice. Oh, he's fucking super wide. And heavy. 
That thing's got to be old. fucking wide Matt. The front's definitely not full, but he's definitely broomed, I think. Come look at them with me. That's the thing, man. We can almost like stay hidden. Yeah, yeah, you come up, see where they're dead. Yeah, the top one's definitely not full curl, but he's also maybe split, like he fucking, we'll see. If the other one follows him, we're gonna get a good side view of him. curl either but it's also because the he, they might have the jeans a swinging low like where they just dip way down and that one looks like and he's wide like that I bet you the top one's older he's got a bigger belly and a bit of a sway in his back and he's got a Roman nose and the other one see how the, I can look at the back and it's like a bit straighter and his belly doesn't isn't quite as round You've seen the exciting morning we've had so far. Um, Matt located two rams a thousand yards away. Way closer than those ewes and kids we saw a little earlier this morning. Um, so from the footage we, we think we should probably make a plan here. We're going to let them go to bed. They walked around the ridge on us. But uh, we got to try to let them bed down and then get really good footage and see if it, we can get a better idea if that bigger or older looking one's legal. But uh, no idea right now, but it's still pretty wicked to see two rams like essentially a kilometer from camp. So that's been a good start. Makes yesterday worth it. And, all the trails that we scouted out and saw in here are real <laughs> and sheep use them so also makes a guy feel good about that so stay tuned and we'll uh we'll keep keep you updated on what we find and, and try to get some video of them
come check out the view right now. That's sick. <clears throat> that's with the extender? Yeah. So you're at like 80? I'm at like 90 something. 90. Yeah. That's pretty good. And you could go up to two on your phone still. Yeah. What does that do? Fuck, I hate touching it when it's recording. <laughs> oh, 2.4. Sweet. I'm gonna need to get some sunscreen on. Looks like just slight broom on his left. One, two, three. I can see the third. We've now shifted camp. Hiding from the sun. It's hot up here. And we're just gonna try to wait out the rams and hope we didn't pressure them out of the zone it's a hot day and we got some good footage of them and the old guy we think who was the old guy was panting pretty hard up there so as the sun came up we're just hoping he moved out because of the temp and not because of us and we'll see how it looks this evening but the rest day is nice um, yesterday was a good hike and having a rest today is pretty sweet so hopefully we got an update for you this evening. All right, we went on a water slash locate sheep mission. So we found a creek down in there, not too far from camp. Now we're trying to stay out of sight and wrap around the hill here. And then try to locate our rams. Hopefully they didn't leave the country. See in our tent, or we're not really sure what happened. All right, a uh, little update here. Uh, we spent the afternoon. We actually found a good water source not too far from camp, which was lucked out. We were going on a water mission slash scout. Uh, we poked around the mountain that I was talking about and. We didn't locate them on the left side, so we're really hoping they just tucked into the right side or up higher into this big valley where we found them this morning, basically. So, yeah, we were packed up. We got all of our gear hanging out here. We've got 12 liters of water in here at camp, which is nice to have. And we got food, dinner. So it's time to sit and try to pick these guys up and kind of doubtful that there'll be time to make a play tonight but you never know they might come down and feed and or we'll put them to put them to bed or, as you would say know where they are before we go to bed that's the real hope so if not we'll have to get up in the morning and try to locate them again or try to locate different rams i don't go know for a walk. we'll see there's lots of country to explore we might call this base camp for a few days so there's no there's no rush to leave when we think we have one and potentially two legal like shooters sitting on the mountain somewhere so we really got to find them so stay tuned we figure we got a good bench here bit of a backdrop so it hides us a little bit as best as it can not ideal but like Devin said we're gonna set up shop see what we see the light isn't the greatest. A little bit of a haze. It's been a really hot day. But we've got some work to do. That's the project.
this place is absolutely massive. What do you got to say, buddy? I'd say it's a pretty good dish. It could have been better. Couldn't turn up the rams we missed this morning. Not missed. Saw this morning and slipped away on us. So we're not sure if they saw our camp or not, or if they're just in a routine going around the mountain. Try to find them tomorrow. We're gonna go way up that drainage, and I don't know if we have to. We'll stay the night up there. It's more of a day hunt. And we'll see if there's any other rams that way, or I'll come back. Keep pushing around the mountain, but I hope we turn up the ones we found because they were pretty nice. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See ya.